online resources in social sciences. In this session, we are going to see online resources in social sciences and institutional repository as a source of information. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain various web resources in social science. Similarly, you will be able to elaborate on the contents of institutional repositories. Intuit is a portal of social sciences. It contains the material from seven universities. It is consortium of seven universities and the material that is useful for sociology, psychology and law is available under this portal. This is free service. ERIC is the largest education database. It contains about 1.5 million journal articles, research reports, conference papers, thesis and dissertations, books, curriculum and teaching guides. This is a paid database. PsycInfo. Now PsycInfo is a database of abstracts and citations of behavioral and social science research. So for psychologist, psychiatrist, it is very useful. This is produced by American Psychological Association. So it contains the publications of APA or American Psychological Associations. Now Psych Articles also is a database for psychology, but it is full text database since it gives full text articles which are around 2 lakh articles from 100 journals published by APA or American Psychological Association. This is a snapshot of National Digital Library of India. Here you have to register yourself. This is a pilot project of Ministry of Human Resource Development. This is a digital library of Indian material and it contains the resources in science, technology, agriculture and humanities. Now institutional repositories. Contents of digital repositories. There can be thesis and dissertations in digital repositories. Then faculty contributions like journal articles, conference papers and teaching material can be there in institutional repositories. Some of the institutional repositories also give student projects and video recordings, teaching material. All these are available in institutional repositories. Now some of the repositories like for example IITs, they have kept thesis and dissertations on username and password so that those who have username and password that is their faculty and students will have access to thesis and dissertations of their own material. So sometimes the researcher has to go to that library to get thesis and get access to the thesis and dissertations and it will not be possible to get access through institutional repository. So that is the difference which the student has to understand. Summary, to sum up, we have seen the portals and databases in social sciences which can be useful for the researcher. We have also seen the contents of digital repositories in this module. Thank you.